This is CG Ruthless Sports. I will be brutally honest and nothing but being brutally honest. Coming at you with another video. Anyways, the 49ers did sign Nate Stuffield, which means Nick Mullins ain't coming back, which means that Josh Rosen's roster spot is not safe. It's going to be open competition for the third string spot. So it doesn't matter. More than likely, the rookie quarterback would have to be the backup. More than likely, Jimmy G would be the bridge quarterback. So it's pretty obvious. The signing to me is just camp body. It's going to be competition throughout the offseason. So I think it's an okay signing because the guy knows the system. So he would be a great fit. Because he, he plays under Doug Patterson's offense, which is very similar to the West Coast offense of what Kyle Shanahan is running. So I'm not tripping about that signing. It's just camp body depth wise, you know, it's good. And the update to the Fort Enders having Justin Fields on their second pro day visit. It's just speculations that maybe we are interested and it's leaning towards him. I got a feeling that it could be. We'll see. I kind of think maybe the secret will be, shh, don't say nothing. Shh, don't say nothing. It could be Trey Lance because nobody's talking about Trey Lance. He could be the guy. Justin Fields, Mac Jones, the media are hyping those two. But is anybody talking about Trey Lance? Usually the front office doesn't put stuff out there. Maybe we are interested of Trey Lance. I'm just saying, what do you guys think? Hit the like and subscription, and CG Ruthless Sports is out. And go Niners.